Hi everyone. So today we will learn a basic uh, commands, how to create a database, how to create a table and how can we insert a new row into that table and after that how to view this, uh, that table that we just recently created. Okay. So we'll just explore the basic things uh, of the SQL Server database here. So let's start. Okay. So I will go to Windows Start menu and here we can see my SQL Server Management Studio is already installed and it's on a connection prompt. Uh, we can see the server type. This is a database. We uh, we have other options as well, but we'll discuss those later. Currently, we'll see database engine only. So the server name is my machine name. Why? Because my database server is installed on this machine. So this machine is considered to be a server to connecting the database instance okay and authentication mode there are you uh, in there you can see two types of authentication modes are available one is windows authentication and the second one is sql server authentication right both have their own significance that also will learn in much detail in upcoming videos for now we'll simply connect to the database okay and now my database server you can see here the version 12.0200 is connected here okay you can see lot many folders here uh, the very important right now is database here into this database folder you can see some subfolders and some database symbols okay the very important is sim system database okay so the system database is a folder where the internal database are being listed okay so this uh, there you can see uh, four internal databases master model msdb and tempdb these databases are being used by sql server itself for the internal purpose there are lots of things like scheduling jobs maintaining metadata okay uh, providing uh, uh, ram space for executing the queries um, and uh, optimizing the queries designing uh, execution plans and lot many those internal things uh, which is done by microsoft sql server for its uh, smooth internal working uh, are done here okay every database has its own specific purpose okay so uh, user uh, i mean when a user create its own database that is called a user defined databases okay so we are as a user not recommended to design or or make any new table or design any procedure or anything or any stuff here into the, these databases fine okay let's move ahead and so this is a brief of sql server management studio interface you can see the save button here open folder if you have already written some queries then you can simply browse it here okay if you want to write a new query from a scratch you will click to this new query editor i'll click to this new query editor and you can see a white space appears here now we can write anything here okay uh, when this editor appears you will see at this text box the default database is master okay this is what uh, this is again a system database that we were seeing here and that that all databases which whichever listing here can see here as well fine so whatever we are going to write here or going to perform here it will be performing in into this database but as i have already uh, uh, told that uh, we are not permitted we are actually permitted we, we, we could have permission but we are not allowed to do anything because we by accident or by the ways we can mess up the internal stuffs of sql server okay so better to not to uh, design anything here we'll create our own database and that is quite simple right how to create a new database simple write a statement create database and the database name what's my database name it could be anything let's say if in this case uh, my db okay or i'll say better my sample db okay select this statement 
and execute this button or simply I can click to F5 okay this will execute the command and database is created it's quite simple okay so once the database is created must be listed here but you can see it's not listing so what I'll do I'll click to I'll right click to database and refresh okay my sample database is available now the very first thing after creating a database I'll what I'll do I'll, I'll switch to my database and the command is my sample my sample db select the statement and you can see now the database is listing here is my sample db it means I'm standing into my own database okay whatever command I will be executing here will affect into my database only okay it will be limited to my database only so after creating a database once I jump into my uh, my own database I'll create a new table right so again a very simple command create table let's say um, I could have any any name uh, let's say employee okay create table employee table name and then the column name ID it could be integer name it could be it should be varchar and the length is 12 and department let's say I'll say depth and it's again varchar 10 and salary okay I'll say it's sal and it's a diesel value now what I'm doing here I'm trying to create a table with um, four columns that is ID okay uh, I, I like to store employees ID number his name his or her name department and salary okay I'll select the statement and execute it okay great so employee table is created now and to see my table what I do is to simple select a statement select asterisk from employee okay the table name which I have just created okay and here that is star stand for all columns okay so what I want to say that select asterisk asterisk means all columns so select all columns from employee and I will execute this I can see all the columns here but no values right otherwise you can write select specific column names let's say only id and name i don't want to see the department and the salary and i'll see here the table with the limited column only this time i'm not saying select asterisk which is all column i'm saying select specific columns which is id and name from my table which is employee so select id and name from employee and it will do only two columns great so now this time my table has no value I'd insert some values here so again a very straightforward near to uh, English language very simple um, statement here the SQL statement here is to insert into table name employee and then all column names ID name my department and then salary okay this time you will see when I was creating a table I was mentioning the data type okay of every column but this time I'm not defining a column that the column definition has been done in create statement this time I'm only inserting so I'm referring the column names okay and now a keyword called values and then I'll start putting values here the values must be in the same sequence in which the department names are, uh, sorry the uh, column names are mentioned right so very first column is ID so let's say my ID uh, first employee ID is one and the name is let's say anybody so John department HR 
and sadly some random values that's at this one okay and the table is created oh great right so this time one row has been inserted into that table sorry table was already created but this time a value is inserted into this table uh, one row okay this insert statement can also be enhanced by inserting two or more rows okay i'll repeat the same statement here and the column name id name and department and salary right okay uh, and one more thing i would like to point out here that sql server is completely case insensitive okay so you no need to care about in which caption you are writing it could be a um, capital letter capital small small capital anyways okay so you can see salary is written in different ways here in different ways so both are identical okay so that is definitely not a problem in sql server otherwise uh, for other databases it matters like in oracle okay values now the first column has already been created sorry first row has already been created so at this time i'll insert second row and the employee name employee id is two and and let's say raj department it and salary again some random values now in the same statement i i want to put two rows at the same time so that's perfectly fine simply put a comma here and again specify the values this time i'm not gonna write value keyword again it is only required once in one single insert statement now this time the third employee and now name is i mean department is it again and some random values as a salary okay again comma and i can put n number of rows here okay let's say four row fourth row with id four name mira and the department is admin and some random values as salary and i'll execute this command oh now you'll see the message very relevant here three rows affected okay now i would like to see my table how it looks like after inserting few values select all columns means at asterisk from my table name which is employee okay great and okay so here the table we can see with the all inserted values the four rows are inserted here and that all we can see here um, with id name and department salary fine okay friends so fine so this is all for this video i'll be sharing many more other things about the sql server okay in upcoming videos please subscribe thank you